Excellent. Well, welcome to today's free webinar on auric etheric clearing, everyone. I trust you're all as excited and passionate as I am to get started. So how's everyone feeling today? Susan, great, but wary. Barbara, good. Adele, finally, ha having finally managed to sort out Zoom on my PC. <laughs> That's excellent, Barbara. I certainly know the pains and the annoyances of Zoom. Sharon, grateful to have made it to the live. Yeah, it always makes a difference when it's live, hey? Christine, good, thanks, William. Yep, great, Christine. Susan, um, a little burdened by the world's problems. Yeah, yeah, well, we've all been there, Susan. Um, well, with that, we can, cert we can certainly see what we can do with that in the clearing later. Aiden, tired, recovering, feeling steady. Yeah, great to hear, Aiden. And Catherine, I feel like I need this. Grateful for the good timing and invite. It has been a stressful few days. Yeah, well, sometimes when it's stressful days, um, um, having that clearing can certainly make that difference. I like to think of it as a spiritual shower. Because, well, um, each, every day or majority of days, we all take showers to keep ourselves clean. So, I mean, imagine how much more we need that for our auric, um, auric or etheric bodies, our spiritual bodies. Lisa, feeling good, but a little tired, probably under the, probably the weather. Yeah, the weather can certainly play its part. But same thing, we'll certainly see what we can do with the clearing later. Okay, so now without further ado, we'll get started with today's webinar. So um, first, we'll co I'll cover what we'll be learning today, starting with how powerful energy is ar all around you and how you can summon, harness and channel it to improve all the different areas of your life. The spiritual and scientific principles of financial imprints, of auric imprints and money blockages and how you can eliminate and shield yourself from their damaging and devastating effects. How to find the source of and unhook the hidden attachments, secretly attracting issues like business, investments, or personal losses or emotional losses to you. How to overcome and reverse past negative business experiences, investment losses, and financial problems, or, emo or emotional traumas or anything else which f fracture your energy field and block you from being able to achieve any future wealth and success and the life that you truly want. I'll be facilitating a powerful step-by-step -step live energy clearing or, or, or auric clearing, freeing you of um, sabotaging negative blocks. So not like a powerful magnet, you can attract prosperity in all the different areas of your life. This is my promise to you. So this training or webinar is to help you experience the power of auric clearing, as well as transform any hidden turmoil or constraints that lurking within. But by doing this, you will start to notice profound shifts and improvements, not only in your finances, but also your health, your relationships, and in all the other different areas of your life. I'll also be giving those who take advantage and stay to the end an opportunity to further their education on how to rapidly increase success, heal traumas, et cetera, in all the different areas of their life. Clients have increased their income and their results by anywhere from 50 to 500% to 500%, and in rare cases, 1,000%, and even experience physical healings from this webinar and from this auric clearing training. Regardless of whether you take advantage of this life-changing offer, I'm, ex I'm supremely confident you will get tremendous value in today's webinar either way. Okay, so here's the big problem. If you're feeling stuck right now, 
and you're not achieving the results that you want, well, then more than likely there are hidden sabotages and blockages which are stopping you from being able to achieve the success that you truly deserve. Okay, so so type a Y in the text chat if that sounds like you, whether it's financially, whether it's emotionally or mentally or a diff um, different area of your life. Lisa, yeah. Barbara, yeah. Judith, yeah. Okay, so now what I'll get you to do is type another Y in the text chat in, if you're committed to change and make a difference with those problems. Okay, fantastic. Now that you've committed yourself to the change, I will show you a tool which can help you clear existing blockages. And on top of that, keep your mind, body and spirit shielded from any future negative attacks. Okay, so I'm going to go through a few different scenarios here and then type, type which one of these numbers will apply to you. We'll start with number one. You're intuitively sensing or know that, that you have financial imprints or money blockages because you're not creating the amount of money that you deserve or creating the life that you want. Number two, you have attracted business or investment losses in the past and you suspect that you have negative energy or spiritual blockages which are holding you back from being able to heal and get past losing everything. The third or number three, perhaps you can make money and you're living and you're living your life that you want to a certain degree, but you sense that there are sabotaging factors preventing you from achieving success in different areas of your life, like maybe emotionally or mentally or another one. And finally, number four, you're, ex you're ready to experience real transformation and help yourself to achieve the life that you want. So type in the text chat, one, two, three, or four, whichever of those resonates strongest with you. Okay, so, so far, pretty interesting. Quite a few of you for number four, for this one here. Excellent. Couple ones here, got a two. Susan and three and four, mostly four. Yes, yeah, so certainly a lot of fours are um, right here. Aiden, three. And the cut, we got a couple threes here. So um, as you can imagine, issues such as negative money experiences, emotional traumas, or um, torment in the mind or anything else related is very much linked um, to issues going on in the auric field, which we will be discussing in just a few moments. So before we get started, I thought I'd share a bit about me on my story. So um, the first 13 years of my life, I attended a normal regular school until eighth grade. Now, and despite having friends and having good um, good influences on that front, there, um, I never felt I never felt like I fit in. I failed my classes. I refused to do anything that um, the teachers wanted me to do. And my parents were called to the principal's office many times for me, um, and so I was. It, I ended up feeling depressed and full of anger and miserable, and I was unable to learn properly due to the teaching methods not reaching me and not feeling understood. And, 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 I, and, and I was also suicidal um, until, until my father had done, uh, performed a clear, an energy clearing on me, which set me free of the depression and the suicidal thoughts. And, that, that, and I fell in love with the work right away. And I've been on that journey ever since. And it got me excited to then provide to the people in the world the opportunity that I was fortunate enough to have. 
And so um, after eighth grade and, exper and experiencing that clearing and starting on the path, I, and that's when I ended up switching from school to homeschool when my parents put me there, um, starting at ninth grade and ended at 11th. I ended up becoming much happier. I got the one-on-one -on -one help that I needed from tutors. And I, and I also was able to put a lot of time and devotion into learning the spiritual esoteric um, side and business to get me to where I am today. I, what I also did was bust at the Fremantle markets in Western Australia using card magic. So what this was great because um, this is something I did just while I was studying the spiritual work and practicing clearings until I was ready to be an apprentice for my father and then eventually offer out services on my own. Um, like now and this taught me to think creatively and how i could be better to generate more cash flow and to and to always um, aim higher and aim for excellence i never needed to get a job and busking helped me to not rely on someone else in certain aspects i in my final year of schooling in year 12 i studied cert three in business admin I was also featured on Today Tonight TV through my business mentors at the time, using my card magic busking business, and was one of 20 or so students chosen to be featured. What I do now is perform energy clearings on people's sicknesses, illnesses, injuries, and accidents and diseases in the auric field right before it manifests in their physical life. And not just that, but on top of that, I also guide them on how to do it themselves. So before we get into today's webinar, we'll first look at the auric field and what, what, what an auric field actually is. So type a Y in the text chat if you've heard of an auric field before. Or type an N if you haven't. Yep, so um, a few yes, a few, um, quite a few yeses. Okay, the great, great to hear that everyone here has um, heard of the auric field. Okay. So, so basically, we don't just have a physical body, we also have an auric field that surrounds us. And that's a part of us. So the auric field is our energetic or higher light body, which exists beyond the physical world and is, and is linked with our higher self. So our auric field is the real source which keeps us alive. So it wouldn't be the bacon and egg toasty that you ate this morning for breakfast or the coffee you drank to stay awake. The auric field and the chakras is ultimately what keep us alive because this is where our energy and our spirit flows through and where our life flows through. Catherine, beautiful slides. Thank you, Catherine. I'm glad you like them. I'm, I'm very much a fan of them myself. And we, we also have eight morphogenetic fields, uh, chakras in our auric field. So on top of the seven embodied chakras, we've got eight morphogenetic ones existing in our auric field. So we've got, there, there are those that are above our head and those that are below our feet. Now, unfortunately, most people aren't even aware of this which may explain why they create auric attachments all the time through various sources such as karma, trauma, or other related incidents. But now let's have a look at auric attachments. Now what auric attachments are, are negative energies or entities which exist within our auric field. Or, or, or another way you could look at it is the corruptions in our auric field. They, they can range from anything, like they can be barbs, hooks, spears, demons, 
wounded souls, and so forth, or cords. These, as you can imagine, get in the way of us connecting to our higher self, our psyche, and being able to achieve mental clarity. They also have the ability to drain our energy field, which keep us from optimum functioning and for me, and being able to operate how we naturally are supposed to. Eventually, they will manifest physically if they're not cleared and dealt with etherically in the auric field. And that brings the next question, how are they created? Let's dive in and explore further. Most commonly from what are called analogical experiences, which in turn create ids. So the ids will go over in a bit, but analogical experiences, what that basically means is when you experience something so traumatic that you freeze for a moment in time. Like it could happen from like losing from the lot of the sudden loss of a loved one, a car crash, or you're coming home to your partner cheating on you or anything else like that. So type a Y in the text chats if you've had that experience, the analogical experience. I know I've certainly had a lot of more than one in my life. Okay, yep, yeah, so quite a few. And, it's, and it's, it's certainly crucial that we get these healed up and cleared out. Otherwise, they forever will rule our destiny. Catherine, yeah, I think these are experiences when we are in shock. Yes, that's, that's correct. Yes, um, shock is very much a, 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 an emotion that comes into that. Because um, especially if it's if it's sudden and out of the blue, but but this is the thing: it's not just major catastrophic events that can create these. Even even the small, even what appear as small incidents can do that. Like even if it's something as small as like I'm feeling feeling someone's energy, like someone's negative energy like the directing it at you. Uh, but also by making choices which don't align with the higher spiritual laws or your own truth. So that would be another big way that these are created. Not managing your emotions and exploding with no self-control. Not speaking of truth or constantly mistreating and hurting others, treating them like shit. Misuse of sexual energy, trying to so like lying to get sex, cheating, manipulation, power games, having sex for the sake of it, etc. Constantly rescuing other people and not once thinking about yourself and your own well being. So now what I'll get you to do is type into the text chat which of the, which one of those examples resonates with you or wh which one of those you've experienced. Um, but... Suzanne, all at one point or another? Yeah, I think that would be a lot of us. Sharon, not aligned with path emotions. Yep, those are certainly some big ones, Sharon. You rescuing others and not thinking of myself mostly. Yep, so, so far all of these are very, um, um, very big ones, very common ones especially. Okay, so now what we'll do is dive into how these actually affect you. You lose touch of your real soul and create a whole new negative or darker identity for yourself. The attachments become more solidified and condensed if they're not dealt with quickly. So think of it like washing dishes. If you when you wash the dishes straight away, it slides straight off. 
but the longer you leave it and um, the more the more the shit on the plate will start to harden and crust up and then you'll have a hell of a time cleaning it up and so you can imagine how much more it's like that in our auric field so the longer we we the longer we wait to deal with this shit the harder it becomes to deal with and process when we actually finally clear it or decide to deal with it. And Ma Michael said, looking up everyone else for the other one. Yep. So and so rescuing that. Yep. And certainly a common one. They also get in each of your fifteen chakras and block them from flowing properly. So you'll so you'll find that um, very challenging to 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 be in flow in your in your inner world because um, there's a saying that your your outer world is only as good as your inner world, um, or or in other words, your outer world is a direct reflection of what your inner world is. So as you can imagine, if your inner world is very tur turbulent. And, and very um, chaotic that's what your outer world will be but if it's peaceful if it's calm if it's steady but yet strong that's what your outer world will be you can potentially attract unwanted experiences or relationships in your life so ones that are toxic or less than ideal attending back to god and being at one with him will not be possible back to the consciousness accessing the higher dimensions and your higher self will be a major challenge and and there'll always be an obstacle or a darkness or whatever in the way so here's an interesting fact for you those effects are the reason that someone can experience a radical change in personality so this, um, so the, these kind of effects are why someone can go from bright and happy to someone who's very cold, distant, and angry, and basically a, a shell of their former self. Because as we all know, trauma and shit we go through, it changes people, and it can mess with people, with our thoughts, our behaviours, um, with, our, with our head, with our heart, but with the whole lot. Simply because they went through a traumatic event and created ids out of it. Because, well, th this then means that the person will be operating from pain and operating from hurt instead of operating from their true essence. When ids are cleared and dealt with, you end up losing touch of your true soul and can end up as someone whose light has grown dim and a shell of who you formerly were. Because and th this 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 is why this is why there's um, there's shit out there like multiple personality disorder and autism, ADHD, and all and all of these labels. And of course, you'll attract experiences according to that frequency. Financially, you'll strive and struggle and you'll have money blocks everywhere. But here's another interesting fact for you. Auric attachments will locate themselves in your chakras based on the emotion and the trauma you've experienced and which area of life it was. This means each of your seven chakras all have an entirely different meaning and frequency. So this means whatever emotion, accident, illness, trauma, or anything similar will determine where the blockage will be in your chakras. For example, if you have an unresolved experience around heartbreak and love, it will be stored in the heart chakra. Um, or if you have an issue around speaking your truth, it will be stored in the fifth chakra. Okay, so these are the different types of auric attachments that exist. So you've, there are occupants, discarnates, wormholes, portals, ids, personalities, and archetypes. And so what we'll do is we'll, uh, is we'll go through them one by one and in summary. 
So, so occupants are basically negative thought forms or emotional charges, which are created when you experience something traumatic or an event which, which causes like an emotional trigger. Like, for example, if someone yelled at you and it made you extremely angry. Because, but what, what, because what then happens is that the problem is if we have this in our system, but we're not dealing with it and we continue to be emotionally charged, then the, as you, when, as you can imagine, the more thoughts and the more negative energy you put into it, the more charged it becomes. And so it, it, it goes up and up and up until it's no longer a negative thought anymore. It's turned into a negative thought form. Or like so, like an entity without a soul, or an, um, or like or like or basically like an, an, a version of an entity that that isn't actually living, but in a different way. And then you've got discardants, which are beings who have died but they haven't passed through, which which means that their soul who not who aren't inhabiting a body. And they and what they do is that they feed off of other people's energy um, as as their food as a food source until until they're shown to to the light or shown to where to to go where they need to go. And then you've got wormholes, which are like doorways in the auric field, which, which enable entities from higher dimensions to feed off of your energy through the wormhole. Port portals are like slits in the auric field, which are created when you absorb the energy and the drama from someone else and, as, and make it your own. So, so in other words, when you rescue people. And well, an ids um, is a soul fragment which is alive and well, which is affecting you from the past. And essentially what, what that is, is when you experience trauma of some kind whether it's emotional mental physical or anything else because what ha what happens is that when you experience the trauma and it's have that analogical experience that we were talking about earlier what then happens is that your soul's energy fractures and you lose that that true piece of your soul or your essence which then ends up corrupted with these darker negative ends. And then you've got the personalities, which 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 are shadow cells of the ends. So basically these form themselves when the ends get created. And so so again, like we talked about, when when it comes to trauma, it it, it does shit to people and it affects our behavior, affects our thoughts and our whole psyche. Um, especially our personality and who we are. And so these personalities shape it for the worst or bring out like the darker side or darker nature of us. The, uh, the archetypes um, are like um, are, are an attachment with, which, bas which is basically like um, different beliefs, um, whatever beliefs or patterns or, or anything stored in your subconscious will end up painting that for you in your reality. So, um, so, um, so, for, so for example, um, I remember Toby Alexander, the guy that I learned from, that in, in, in an example that he shared, that when he cleared an archetype from someone, he what, what he cleared was like a black mother, basically, or like a dark, a dark mother, which which represented um, the child's inner, de inner child's devastation from losing its mother at an early age. So basically meaning like this, so this person was operating in, in like a dark version of a mother, which was basically created from them losing their own mother at an early age. And so it, so it meant that that was what they were left with, an archetype and the beliefs and the pains, which then manifested that into their reality. So that then brings the next question. How do you clear these? So before we get into that, just type in the text chat, which of those auric attachments resonate strongest with you?
Sharon Ed's wormholes. Susan past trauma same. Yeah, the the Ed's are like are pretty much always mentioned when when I asked that this one. Barbara Ids, Catherine Ids, also affected by my mom's Ids trauma. And yeah, you bring a good point there, Catherine, because when it comes to um, these auric attachments, we not only have our own to deal with, but we also can inherit the um, auric attachments from our parents and our ancestral family line. Unit wormholes its occupants. Okay, so this is interesting as well as as well as it. There's a couple of wormholes here, and one occupant. Susan, can this happen due to incarnations? Uh, yes, absolutely. It's like, especially if your parents were going through a lot while you were in the womb or after you were born. But, but the thing to realize too is that we are also carrying auric attachments from past lives as well. So um so we've we've all got a, a, a fucking fun array of auric attachments from different sources. There's our past lives, our current life, and then inher also inherited from parents and, an and ancestors. And yeah, totally. Yep, absolutely. So, so when it comes to clearing these, the main method of clearing auric attachments is with an auric clearing. Because an auric clearing is the fastest and most effective way to transmute attachments. So here's some other methods you can use to clear them on top of the auric clearing. Step on your path and purpose and live it and be guided by the universe. Start making choices which align more with the universal laws and your own truth. Check for any karma you may have with someone or yourself and make it right. Or karma from past lives if, if they come up. Seek to serve something beyond yourself, yourself and be mindful of not falling into personal gain. So here's some more details on what an auric clearing is. So what is an auric clearing? In simple terms, it means clearing your auric field. Auric clearing involves scanning the multidimensional light body for the auric field. It also uses higher esoteric language, energy directing techniques, and relevant codes to communicate with your higher self. And on top of that, your subconscious mind as well to permanently transmute these attachments. What then happens after this is you recover golden soul fragments, which represent pearls of wisdom from the issue being cleared at hand. At the end of the session, we download new chords, new templates and new soul programming from the higher self. This, uh, this ends up resulting with you embodying a much higher frequency in your life. On top of that, your reality can change by attracting people, places, times, things and events which resonate with your new higher frequency and being able to achieve what you want instead of what you don't want. So now let's look at the science behind clearing on financial or auric imprints and attachments. So to put it simply, the universe is one giant hologram. And scientists are agreeing that there is a quantum or esoteric realm which governs all things. Um, because as we've seen in the past, in, in people were either scientists or spiritual, 
and they were one or the other. But but um, times have evolved since, and scientists and spirituality are, are starting to agree and become one. So let's look at some examples. Al Priven, a neurophysicist of Stanford University. David Bowen, a physicist, University of London. Amit Goswani, a physicist of Oxford University. And Dr. Joe Dispenza. To put it another way, they are realizing that, that, that consciousness precedes matter. So, so meaning that whatever happens in the etheric or the higher realms is what counts. And that and that's what is manifesting what's happening in, on this on this earth or this matter, or manifesting what's happening in our lives. So as we discussed earlier, our inner world, uh, whatever's going on in our inner world is what will then manifest into the outer world or the matter. And Michael Fulbert, in his book, The Holographic Universe, had his own interesting view and take on this topic. So in the holographic universe, Michael Talbot suggested that things like coffee cups, trees, table lamps might not exist or even exist in the way that we believe them to be. In other words, it's all an illusion and the mystics or the crazies are right. Your mind is like a radio transmitter which tunes into the radio stations of infinite realms of energy. We are manifesting every second, minute, hour of the day and night. And we always are. Our thoughts are also what create and determine our reality. Not just that, but also the collective consciousness of those around us and those, and those that we spend the most time with. I.e., we are affected by the mass mind if we're not careful. Our life is a hologram of what we create. So every so the way that your life is right now has been a direct result of, of your last um, one thousand choices, and that's and that's something that's something that I heard from Toby Alexander as well. That that the, the, the present state of your life, your health and your mental, emotional state, financial and everything has been a result of your last thousand choices, however they've been made. Your subconscious mind works with your conscious mind. It is like a film or movie screen. So the two work hand in hand and work as one. Classic physics is questionable, and that's what that's what came out of it in the end with, with the science. And quantum physics makes sense, even if it appears a, a bit different, and even if it's not always easy to unlock. All things are interconnected. Nothing is truly separate, and everything is one on that consciousness and quantum level. Space and time don't exist as they're not linear, but quantum. Holographic theory is real. So unless you are actively combating the mass mind and uh, dealing with that, it doesn't matter what you do. You'll keep attracting back the same hologram and the same shit over and over again as it is your consciousness, which determines your reality. It is like you're in an elastic band, which keeps pulling you back to the same place. You're being pulled back to square one. The law of attraction and frequency is like gravity or like radio waves. In other words, it isn't moral or emotional, and it doesn't care what's fair, unfair, or what should happen. It just It's just what is. Okay, so these so these are some different um, different ways that that financial imprints or attachments can also be created and formed. So parents' beliefs and spoken words over us, going broke in your business and losing the whole lot, or losing your job, being cheated on by a business partner or getting bad advice, losing in an investment or having money stolen from you. 
of traumatic emotional experience or neuro association, spiritual dissociation or repressive disorders. Bad examples around money. So like heroes, business leaders who make a lot of money and who have built great wealth and career, but are, are the absolute worst of a person that you will ever meet. Making a bad mistake and creating a story around it or blaming yourself or others. So, so, these, so, those, so these are the different ways that you could acquire the financial imprints or auric attachments. The trading markets as well is another one. And the mass mind belief systems, being in a corrupt fire and greedy system. So, so, it's, like a, so it's like a dirty house. Um, when you, um, as we know, if we clean when the house is cleaned regularly and, ma and maintained, it's spotless and great to live in. But when that stops, then the slowly the dust and the junk will pile up again and it will end up how it was previously or worse. So, okay, so these are, so now these are some different testimonials or case studies of people who have worked with me. Starting with Steve Plummer from Sunshine Coast in Queensland, and uh, what and what he said um, um, was that Will is an old soul in a young man's body, and that he taps into the higher realms and sees things that many can't, and that that are not only help shift emotionally but and spiritually, but also translating that into the other areas of life. I've seen this firsthand as he works with others and experienced it myself. And also mentioned the gen my genuine desire to help humanity and do what and do what I can to the best of my ability. And great to see he's continuing the much needed and important work. And that if you ever get the opportunity to work with me, to grab it with both hands and that it will be transformative for you. The next one is Famida Zahara Hamid from Chicago, Illinois. So, um, so, so this in, in recently, a, a, a several years ago or so, Famida experienced a uh, one-on-one -on -one DNA activation with me, and during and after the activation, she experienced the glorious feeling of the higher realms and the presence of beings from the higher realms and also receive messages of confirmation and, and information for herself. And also experience, even experience physical healings, which, which, which have been sustained for, for years and even decades. And that at the end of the session, a new level of confidence, strength and peace had hit her and within herself. And physically lighter and the posture noticeably improved on top of that too. And that I strive to help understand, help you understand, and encourage you to ask questions and take time to answer those questions. And that your results may not be the same, but the services offered will address the highest priorities for your particular needs at the certain point in time. And that when you're ready to go to the next level and become who you're meant to be, live the life you're meant to live, so hot, that she highly recommended seeking me out and utilizing the services that I've offered. And then that finally, Christine Evans from Wage in Western Australia. And so Christine met me through my father, the founder of The Awakening Within. And at our first meeting, which I remember clear as day, she, um, uh, I, so then I did a clearing for her, which then helped clear the path for future progress. And, and since then, she's mentioned that we've worked together many times and that have learned several different ways of clearing for me and uh, having a great deal of knowledge, particularly around clearing, dealing with dark entities, curses, hexes, spells, etc., and done numerous clearings for her and her family and, and, and have said that they're very grateful. And, and, Chris, and she also said that I've been doing this work from a very young age and I'll have a lot of experience in this field. And that um, they're also kind, compassionate and has a lovely sense of humour. So now we'll get to this next part, clearing your blockages. 
And so before we do that, um, we'll, we'll quickly go through each of the seven embodied chakras. So the first chakra would, is the root chakra, which represents basic trust. So basically it's survival um, and on the survival and the primal level. Um, then, then the second chakra is sexuality, creativity. The third one is, is wisdom and power. Um, for, um, in yourself the, the fourth one is is love and healing the throat chakra is communication speaking a truth the third eye is your awareness of the higher dimensions your purpose and, and from the higher perspective the crown chakra is the spirituality or your connection to the cosmic universe Okay, so um, before we get into the the clearing, does anyone have any questions or comments before we do so? Lisa, do you have a website? Uh, yes, we do, Lisa. Um, if you just search up the the awakening within in Google, then it will pop up. And on there, we have all kinds of blogs, articles, and videos, and different things that you can check out. Catherine, very helpful. Excellent. Great, great to hear it was helpful, Catherine. All right, they 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 go, Lisa. Um there's uh, my team has now just put the link into the text chat if if you want to check out that site or if look at it if if not, look at it later and save the link into into your computer. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so no questions or comments. So what we'll do is begin the clearing. So everyone just focus on this code and inhale it to your third eye. And just imagine it there and close your eyes. And now what we'll do is start taking some deep breaths to relax the mind and the body. And we'll do that by inhaling through the nose for a count of four. Hold it for a count of four. And exhale through the mouth for a count of six to eight. Inhaling for four. Through the nose and holding it for a count of four and exhaling out through the mouth for a count of six to eight. And just continuing that breathing process while imagining the code. What we'll do now is we'll set up the protection ritual as we start the clearing. We now call upon the golden vortex and the spinning tornado going clockwise and the bright white crystalline pyramid surrounding me and each person here. And we call upon the five archangels, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, and Metatron, and Christ and Mother Mary and Babaji. 
to only those who are aligned with the word of God and the Christ consciousness. And we clear and repel any false spirit guides, negative energies, outside interferences, unhelpful entities, or anything else related to be fully cleared out now. And we give love, thanks, and gratitude to all beings that are currently present. It is commanded by the laws of the gold and liquid realms and our chemical powers that this higher auric calibration code be used to clear any dark energies surrounding each person here in their auric field and burn it with a gold and liquid light. And we also clear out any ids or any occupants and bring back the golden soul fragments. We also clear out any tiredness or heaviness from each person here as well. Cut and sever any draining energy cords between each person here and any entity attachment or person with it and bring them back into their own auric field again and their own self. And clear out any other damage from being done to the auric field and repair those etheric layers that have been damaged or corrupted and bring in that unconditional love from the from from the divine and unlock that and unlocking that within their own self and their own hearts justly earn now to asia in today And just keep breathing. We also clear any erraticness in the or in the auric field and bring back the calmness and the peaceful energies. bring in that stability and bring that strength and, and that order into their auric field as well And scramble any negative frequencies or um, as well from the from the auric field from each person here. We now rebalance each person here in all areas of their life. 
pour in the golden liquid light and send in the love from the higher mother and father. Okay, so when you're ready, everyone, you can you can type in the text chat how you're feeling after the clearing. Catherine, calm, balanced. Excellent, Catherine. Great to great great to hear. Lisa, a little bit perkier. Thanks. <laughs> That's awesome, Lisa. Yeah, well, that just made me feel a bit perkier too. <laughs> Barbara, not sure, still processing. That was big. My father and his volatile behavior when I was a child came up and realization of how scared I was of him. Wow, that's very big, Barbara. <laughs> yeah, so, ju so just continue to allow that to process and to heal. And to, and, to, and to release. Lisa, how does the auric code picture work or come about? So this auric, so this auric clearing code specifically was created by Yvonne Delaflore, um, who who used to be who used to be married to Toby. And so so Toby was the one that I learned from with this auric clearing. Suzanne, I experienced tingling in the feet, first of all, then a twitching of muscles around the knees. I now feel more energized and clear. Awesome, Susan. That's great. Yep, so it sounds like it was quite a big clearing for you too. Unit, I feel like something has been pulled out of me from the chest and head area. I feel lighter and clearer. Well, that's yeah, that's great, Unit. Yeah, there certainly was a lot, a lot being pulled out there. Okay, so now everyone just take a glass of water, just um, to integrate the clearing. Okay, so any final questions or comments before we go to the next stages? Christine, thanks, William. Barbara, all good. Thanks, William. <sighs> yeah, no worries. Thanks, guys. You did, my neck felt tight before the clearing. Now it feels better. Excellent, you did. <laughs> yep, amazing how amazing the difference that a clearing can make. Lisa, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Susan, thanks, William. Yeah, no worries. Thanks. Unit, yes, thank you very much. Yeah, um, no worries. They, um, no worries, Unit. Uh, no worries, Theo. Great, 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 William. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Sharon, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Thanks. So no further questions or comments. Okay, so what we'll now do is go to the next stages. So we'll start with just a few questions for you. So when you leave this webinar, you've got, you've received a lot of great information from me, right? However, if you haven't done auric clearing before, it can be a little overwhelming, makes sense. So what could you do about it? And finally, is it okay if I show you the fast and easy way to make all of this happen for you? Type a Y in the text chat if so. Catherine, yep. Lisa, sure. Michael, yep. Susan, yep. Okay, awesome. So let's continue. So how would you like to receive a step-by-step -step live course on how to implement this incredible, simple yet effective clearing program into your life? So the great thing with the Auric Clearing Program is that you will be able to shift your blockages as well as eliminate any hidden sabotages a lot sooner. 
you'll then be able to freely manifest more money, and not just that, but also experience better health and live the life that you've always desired. As you can imagine, this is a life-changing transformational process. So if you're ready to take your life, your health, your wealth, and your relationships to the next level, this course will help you with the following. Clearing imprints in your auric field to eliminate financial blockages, auric clearing or auric attachments and self-sabotage. Clear ne negative energy, dark entities, curses, hexes and spells around your business, investments, emotion, mental or anything else of the capacity. Clear limiting unconscious associations with taxes and governments silently holding back your success. Clear energetic blockages and beliefs around health and relationships, freeing you from sickness and unhappiness and toxicity. Clear alignment obstructions in finding your life's true purpose. Create an energetic impenetrable shield over your health, your wealth, and your family. Okay, so now the next stage is the Auric Clearing Program and what we'll be covering each week. So the first week will be all about building a spiritual foundation where we'll be introducing you and diving further into Auric Clearing as well as the scientific and esoteric foundations to prepare your mind, body and spirit to be cleared allowing you to be free and unlimited, incorporating a new pathway to the life that you truly desire. Week two will be all about shifting your financial blockages. So specifically auric clearing around money constraints, helping you to shift blockages from your business, investments, tax and regulatory institutions by showing you how to tap into your intuitive manifesting powers to design and create the life that you want on all levels. The third week will be all about transforming your life around relationships, health, and physical body. In here, we go deep into the art of auric clearing around relationships, health, and transformational healing, coupled with advanced strategies and action steps with doctors, naturopaths, and health professionals to enhance overall health and vitality. There will also be a bonus week four, where we'll be blending the, pre the previous three trainings or classes together for a bonus integration. This will be the final integration session where we combine all three trainings together and incorporate new advanced and quantum methods to fast track the results that you want in health, wealth and life. So this is the total value of the Auric Clearing Program. So week one is $499.25. Um, so is week two, three, and four, totaling the value to $1997. So here's what you get so far. Four transformative trainings or classes for times $499.25, $1997. Unlimited lifetime access to the trainings of each session. 197, totaling the value to 2,194. Now, I want to reward you if you've already made up your mind. So you'll be very happy to hear that you get these awesome bonuses as well. The first bonus is a personalized one-on-one -on -one clearing session with me personally to enhance your results. And I'll help you achieve that by clearing whatever it is you want cleared in the fastest time possible valued at 197. The second bonus, you'll receive a transform transformative JSEALS training, which is an online recorded course where we help you remove energetic implants, which could be sabotaging your health, your wealth, and your relationships, valued at 197. So here's what you get in total. Four transformative classes, um, 499.25, 1997. Unlimited lifetime access to the trainings of each session, 197. One-on-one -on -one personalized healing session, 197. 
Jay Seals recorded course on line 197, totaling the value to 2,588. So everything that combined is a $2,588 value. However, that's not what you'll be paying today. For fast decision makers, it will only be 528 upfront, or if or if you can't do it all upfront, seven easy installments of 97 per week. And just for clarification, all prices are in Australian AUD, and this is for today only. And just to clarify on that on that one, this this means that if you choose to sign up after today you'll still be able to receive the Auric Clearing Program for that listed price of 528 or 97 per week for seven weeks. However, you just won't be receiving the bonuses that go along with it. On top of that, we have a risk-free guarantee in place. This is our 100% ironclad risk-free investment. You sign up for the course, and if you're not happy and don't achieve the results we promise, simply let us know and we'll happily give you a full refund, no questions asked. So for today only, and again to clarify, these pri this price will be is re will be relevant after today. So 528 up front or seven easy installments of 97 per week, where you can still get it for this price, it will just be the bonuses you won't be receiving. So this here is the actual link to sign up, which which I'll just get my team to place into the text chat, which they've done now. And all you need to do is simply click that link and then it will direct you to the page and you then fill up the form and follow the prompts and then and then sign up and you'll be good to go. Or the other option is that if if you want something further and looking for something a bit more, um, I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions with myself. And, um, so, and, if that, and if that one interests you, we can organise a call for that. So are there any questions? Okay, so far no questions or comments. So type a Y in the text chat if you're interested, if this interests you. Susan, thanks, William. I'm going away, so we'll look for look to doing the course next year. It looks great. Yeah, no worries, Susan. Um, have a good trip, and thanks for coming. And Lisa, I will certainly have a look and also go to your website. Thanks. Yeah, no worries. Sounds great, Lisa. What I'll, what I'll also add is that if if, if you if you still have more questions or queries about the course, I'm more than happy to arrange a call with 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 you guys. Uh, so of which which we can arrange on a, on a discovery call. So, so if that if that interests you, just type type a Y in the text chat, and then my team will grab your details, and then we'll email you the link to book a call, and then we can discuss. Catherine, yes, okay, yep, yeah, awesome. Okay, so team, so Catherine has said yes. So, we'll, so perhaps just. Um, type your email into the text chat, Catherine, just so we can grab your details and then we can arrange a call. Michael, thanks, William. Yep, no worries, Michael. Susan, thanks, William. Yep, no worries. Um, thanks, Suzanne. Thanks, Michael. Catherine, thanks for a great session. This is my second Zoom tonight. Um, yep, I've got, got your email. Good night. Yep, no worries, Catherine. Thanks for coming. And um, good night to you too. Okay, okay. so um, um, are there any so are there any final questions or comments before we officially end for today? Susan, thanks to everyone. Enjoy your night. Yep, no worries. Thanks, Susan. You too. 
Theo, thank you, William. No worries, Theo. And Michael, thanks for the clearing, William. All the best. Yeah, my pleasure, Michael. And all the best to you too. Unit, I have done the Auric Clearing course last year, though I haven't revisited regularly, but I can access it forever. So this was a good reminder to do it. To do it. Thank you. Yeah, no worries, Judith. Um, de yeah, um, definitely revisit. It's always um worth revisiting. I myself go back to Auric Clearing regularly, a, a lot, all the time. Regina, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so just before we end, I'll, um, the, I'll, I'll now um, take my opportunity to thank you all for coming. I appreciate you taking the time um, and the effort, the commitment out of your day or your night, wherever you are, to attend today's webinar. Um, I hope you guys got as much out of it as I did. Um, take care of yourselves. Have a great rest of your day, night, um, wherever it is you are. And uh, I look and I look forward to working with you guys um, in some way. Bye for now.